Oh, different. Thank you. We're really yeah. especially with the it, you know because it's it's a gray carpet, kind of a almost a T one hundred, you know, one thousand metal going on. You think that was on purpose? I think it was. I think the machine. You're smart. I didn't even think of that. Sometimes. I, I would think with this heat, man, it would, it would get to me a little bit. So how, getting to me. So tell us a little bit about your character and, jo and joining this huge franchise. Sure. Yeah, it's, it's insane. Um, my character's name is Miriam, and I play a soldier in John Connor's inner circle of the resistance fighting the machines. So um, although it may not look out like it right now, I, I play a soldier, which baffled my mind as well whenever I booked the part. I was like, are you sure? Are you sure? Okay, okay, I can do it. I feel like you could still kick butt in this outfit, though. Kick some butt. Yeah, maybe even in this outfit. The heels will get you every time. Yeah, I might be a little bit slower in the heels, but, you know. Uh, yeah. How was it too? Because I mean, the Terminator franchise has been around for so long now. Did you ever imagine that you'd have the day where you'd be on a, you know, gray carpet blocking Hollywood Boulevard? Gray carpet? No, absolutely not. I'm from a very small town uh, in Louisiana. Uh, actually, which I, sh I feel like I should give a shout out. I teamed up with a local designer in New Orleans who custom made this dress for me, uh, Hunt Collective. It's gorgeous. Let's do a quick spin. Let's be girly for a second. Let's, let's feminine up. Oh, very nice. Gorgeous. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm from a small town in Louisiana, and I've only been to LA even just a handful of times. And so to be a part of this huge franchise is is um, so overwhelming right now. It's just like um, the best day ever. <laughs> I love hearing that. And John Connor, too. I mean, it's kind of a darker turn for that character. How was it kind of tweaking the idea of what we all think about him? Yeah, they um, they did show a little bit of that in some of the previews. I haven't seen the film yet, um, so we'll, we'll see. But, um, yeah, they did reveal a little bit of that. And I think... I think you got to keep the fans on their toes, you know? Um, some people might be upset about it and like, oh, no, that's not that's not how it goes. But I think you should go into it with an open mind, and it's it could stand alone if, it, if you wanted it to. Um, just it's a, it's a fun movie. You're along for the ride. Now, do you also get to work with Amelia and Arnold in the film? Um, actually, I, I met both of them for the read-through, but m most of my scenes were with Jason Clark and Jai Courtney. Um, so, but I, I was able to... Uh, to be at the table read of the script with them, um, so that was pretty cool. Amazing, and especially with um, which I and, and and with Jason as well. I mean, such great actors to also join that they kind of teach you the ropes because they've both done different kind of action films or war films as well. Yeah, it was insane. I mean, actually, kind of intimidating to be with him with the doing the scenes with him with the scars on his face. It was actually pretty intimidating. But um, uh, but Is Sylvester Stallone going by. There he goes. What is he doing? I mean, I feel like they're all buddies, you know. They're him and Arnold. Yeah, they, they do are. all the movies. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, but oh yeah. Okay, so I lost my train of thought. Yeah. I was you know, Sylvester Stallone will do that to you. <laughs> I feel like. <laughs> so, um, so working with 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 Jai and with Jason. Oh yes. Uh, thank you. I lost my train of thought often. Um, so yeah, with his um with his scars that they made him. It was actually pretty intimidating to be in the scenes with him, but gosh, just to work with him, such one-on-one, -on -one, uh, especially Jason, uh, was incredible. It really was. It was, um, it helped me learn a lot, just just to watch him, you know, just to sit back and watch him. And sometimes I would forget where I was. I'm like, okay, Terry, you have lines, you know. Okay, you have you have to say some lines. But um, that was pretty cool for just, I feel so new as an actor, just, um, I feel like I've been in the industry almost about eight years. So I'm, I'm still so new and uh, just to be in such a huge franchise like this is overwhelming, it's, it's amazing. No, I, I've been asking too, being with, Ar you know, on a film where Arnold is the Terminator, I feel like there's got to be a bunch of impressions going around. <laughs> do you have Do you have one you can you can do for us? Well, you know, my favorite has been the one Amelia did in the trailer. It was the "Come with me, come with me if you want to live." It was and she did a really good job. I was like, I, yeah, I, I that's how I would say it too. It was just amazing. She did a good job. I love that. And what upcoming projects do you have besides this? Um, I just recently worked on a CBS TV series called Zoo. Um, and I think they uh, it premieres at the end of the month, if I'm not mistaken. But I'm uh, I'm more towards the end, and so um, yeah, that was I love animals, and so that was pretty cool to be a part of. Yeah. They're doing a Comic Con panel. Are you gonna head down for that? What for, for Zoo? 
I, I feel like I saw a press release for that, but I could be totally wrong on that. Oh, I, I had a great part in The Walking Dead, but I have not gotten into all of the cons. I feel like it's something I should totally be a part of and take advantage of that. It's, I mean, like fans like who knew that I would have fans you know like most of these people probably don't know who I am but it's still cool after this movie they're gonna know even more <laughs> hopefully hopefully yeah I need be... to crash a con <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna crash it yeah thank you so much it was a pleasure to meet you so good to talk to you thank you enjoy have a good night